Alexander the Great founded it. Queen Cleopatra lorded over it. Alexandria's birth and early history is a calling card of famous names. This was the Mediterranean's dazzling jewel of a city, home to the Great Library of Alexandria and the colossal Pharaoh's Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In more recent times, from the late 19th century up until the 1950s, Alexandria was something of a bohemian tourist attraction, with a glittering cast of writers, poets, and artists who made the city their home. Although today, unlike Cairo and Luxor, there are few actual historic monuments and things to do. Alexandria is one of the best places to visit in Egypt to capture a sense of days gone by grandeur. Alexandria is a city in Egypt. It faces the Mediterranean Sea and flourished as a major port city. The city was founded in 331 BC by Alexander the Great of Macedonia and is named after him. Some of the top things to do in Alexandria, Egypt are exploring ancient history, archaeology, and ancient architecture while enjoying beaches, boat cruises, and water sports. The city was a major center for the Hellenic civilization, and it replaces Memphis for this spot. Many of the best places to visit in Alexandria, Egypt hail from this culture and time period. It was one of the largest cities in the ancient world before being outsized by Rome. The city was under the rule of pharaohs, Greeks, Romans, Persians, Islamic caliphs, and Arabs. You will see the influence of all these cultures in various tourist places in Alexandria. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Here are the best places to visit in Alexandria, Egypt. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Let's dive in. 1. Explore the museums of the Bibliotheca Alexandrina. Most visitors to Alexandria beeline first to this modern reimagining of Alexandria's ancient great library. The Bibliotheca Alexandrina is one of Egypt's most important contemporary landmarks and the cultural heart of the city. It contains one of the modern world's most ambitious libraries and a host of museums exploring Alexandria's history and heritage. Its architecture is centered around a giant sun disk, which presides over the waterfront corniche. Inside, the huge main library and its reading room can hold 8 million volumes. For visitors, though, the main tourist attractions are the beautifully curated exhibition spaces below the main library. 2. Stroll the Corniche Downtown Alexandria's wide waterfront Corniche Road is as much a symbol of the city as any of its monuments. Strolling the Corniche, particularly the section between the main shorefront square of Medan Saad Zaglul to Fort Quaitby on the eastern harbor's western tip, gives you a real feel for the era of cosmopolitan elegance and decadence that marked the city in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Much of the architecture from this era still stands along the Corniche, though these days, much of it is heavily dilapidated and falling into disrepair. 3. Head underground at the Catacombs of Qam el Shukafa. The catacombs of Qam el Shukafa are hewn from the rock on the southern slopes of a hill in the Karmus district. Thought to date from the 2nd century CE, they offer an admirable example of the characteristic Alexandrian fusion of Egyptian and Greco-Roman styles. Discovered in 1900, thanks to a donkey falling into them, they are laid out on several levels of sarcophagi and loculi, shelf tomb, chambers. A spiral staircase leads down into the ground to the main rotunda. 4. Fort Quait Bay Walk the long shorefront Corniche Road of the Eastern Harbour heading west, and you'll finally arrive at Fort Quait Bay. It may be a poor substitute for what was once the site of the mighty Pharaoh's Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, which was toppled by a violent earthquake in 1303. But this squat fort has been standing guard over Alexandria since 1480. Fort Quait Bay was built by Mamluk Sultan Quait Bay in an effort to fortify this important Egyptian port from attack, and rubble from the toppled lighthouse was used in its construction. Inside, you can explore the series of stone-walled chambers and climb up to the roof to look out over the Mediterranean. 5. Qam al Deka. Nobody thought much of the ancient rubble mound in central Alexandria until, in the 1960s, they decided to clear the site to make way for new housing. As work commenced, the area known as Qam al Deka, Mound of Rubble, revealed a whole swag of ancient ruins buried beneath, including a small Roman theater. Today, the area is a small archaeological park with remains from Alexandria's Greco-Roman period. As well as the theater, there are remnants of a Ptolemaic temple, a Roman bathhouse, and various Roman-era villas. 
Excavation work on the Villa of the Birds here unearthed well-preserved 3rd century mosaic floors, which have been kept in situ. 6. Pompey's Pillar In Carmus, near the catacombs of Qom al shukafa is a hill littered with the remains of ancient walls, architectural fragments, and rubble on which Alexandria's only fully intact ancient monument is left standing. Pompey's Pillar rises from the ruins of the ancient and famous Serapion, Temple of Serapis, which was once used to store the overflow of manuscripts from the Great Library of Alexandria. This column of red Aswan granite with a Corinthian capital, rising to a height of almost 27 meters, actually has nothing to do with Pompeii and was instead set up in 292 CE in honor of Diocletian, who supplied food for the starving population after the siege of the city. Underneath, there is not much to see of the badly ruined Serapion, but you can clamber down some staircases into a substructure of chambers. 7. Dive Alexandria's Underwater Ruins Unlike diving in the Red Sea, dives in Alexandria are not about colorful coral reefs and fish life. Instead, dive sites in the Eastern Harbor area are all about ancient underwater ruins. For divers, Alexandria provides a unique opportunity to dive amid the toppled statues and columns of the ancient city. Be aware that underwater visibility is low when diving in Alexandria. For underwater archaeologists, the waters off the coast here have provided plenty of riches in recent years. To the northeast of the city, in the Bay of Abukir, archaeologists discovered the port city of Heraklion Thonis and have brought many of the treasures to the surface, now on display in Alexandria's museums. For now though, most of the recreational diving opportunities are still centered around the Eastern Harbor. 8. Alexandria National Museum Alexandria's National Museum is a must-stop if you want to get to grips with the vast history of this famed city. Inside, the collection guides you from the Pharaohic era, in the basement, to the Hellenistic heyday, when Alexandria and Egypt were governed by the Ptolemy dynasty begun by Alexander the Great, on the ground floor, and up to the Byzantine and Islamic periods, on the first floor. The ground floor's exhibits of statuary and artifacts from the underwater archaeological explorations of the sunken port city of Heraklion Thonis in Abukir Bay are the museum's major highlight. 9. Montaza Gardens An oasis of calm on the city's eastern edge, Montaza is a lush haven of tall palm trees, trimmed lawns, and blossoming flowers that was once off-limits to all but the royal court and their hangers-on. Built as a hunting lodge in the 1890s by Khadiv Abbas Hilmi, it was later extended substantially by King Fuad and replaced Raz Al Tin Palace as the royal family's summer house. The eccentrically designed Montaz Palace, with its ornate Florentine-inspired towers and Rococo flourishes, is not open to the public, but everyone is welcome to stroll within the sprawling gardens, which can be a welcome slice of nature after a day spent within Alexandria's hustle. 10. Dine out in Alexandria's fish restaurants. Many visitors come to Alexandria primarily to dine on the city's fresh seafood. The two best areas for restaurants serving fresh fish are the harbor front, where you get sea views with your meal, and the working class district of Anfushi, which stretches west from Fort Quait Bay and the harbor in a warren of lines. Just after sunset, Anfushi is the city's liveliest area, with traditional coffee houses spilling out onto the street and the scent of shisha water pipes, and grilled fish hanging in the air. That was all from us today, folks. For more similar content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.